What's up, humans? And welcome to a new episode of Psicoactivo. Today, we're going to talk about an interview done by Mr. Sean Ryan on the Sean Ryan podcast. He interviewed Edwin C. May, who uh, used to run the Stargate program. I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but uh, Stargate is a program that um, Dr. Jacobo Greenberg was associated with, uh, according to leaked declassified uh, CIA documents, when that dump happened between 20, uh, 2007 and 2008. And I wasn't 100% sure who was running the program when Dr. Greenberg disappeared. Uh, presumably, uh, according to official uh, data, Stargate stopped existing in 1995. But Mr. Edwin C. May kind of contradicts this a little bit, uh, saying that he took the director's position from uh, Russell Tark and Dr. Hal Putoff. And it is interesting to see him talk about this. And a little, a uh, little, a little dig he takes at Doctor Putoff. Check it out. Okay, so um, I think it's very important to note here that uh, it is interesting how things happen behind the scenes that none of these people talk about, and based on what we already know uh, of Doctor Greenberg's story how he disappeared, the nature of his work, which was directly related to consciousness, and how uh, in this conversation with Sean Ryan, uh, Mr. Edwin C. May casually talks about how remote viewing is real. And I find it really interesting how it is a topic that is accepted as real, uh, an ability accepted as real by members of the intelligence community, and members of intelligence communities from other countries too. And they used it as a weapon uh, between countries. And I find it very interesting that no uh, uh, mainstream news media outlet or the scientific community from the mainstream regard remote viewing as a real thing. Despite all the multiple people from the intelligence community who assure they are we're talking about something completely real. Mr. Edwin C. May also talked about telekinesis, telepathy, uh, and many of the studies that they did under his watch uh, on the Stargate program. I Suddenly my uh, goal to try to investigate about Dr. Greenberg is a little bit changed here because I want to get to ask uh, first, I had uh, Dr. Jacques Vallée and Dr. Hal Putoff as the main subjects of this investigation that I want to ask them if they knew Dr. Greenberg, what they knew about him, and uh, based on the confirmed evidence that Vallée, John Keel, and Andrea Pucharic at least spent some time with Greenberg, I want to ask them what was that about? What did they talk about back then? There are two different photos that I have already shared multiple times. I am going to share now two. One is from Costa Rica in the late 1993. And another one is from Spain uh, in a few years before that. And I want to know what they discussed with Dr. Greenberg or if they know what happened to him or why he disappeared. Because clearly they were collaborating with him in some way. And I also would love to ask Mr. Edwin C. May if he knew about Greenberg's work and about his disappearance as well. So uh, let's hope that he can get to see this. I am going to leave a little um, a nugget from the talk he had with Sean Ryan about how uh, Stargate ended. And I'll let you guys decide for yourselves uh, if these uh, two things can be related, how 
uh, this ending of the program, if it's related in any way to uh, Dr. Greenberg potentially going to them and uh, work on his um, projects in secret. So I'm going to leave you the link right here. So yeah, um, don't I want to know what the hell happened? Of course I do. Uh, we all would, to be honest with you. And I think that um, Mr. Edwin C. May has the potential to answer many of these questions. I am going to try to reach out to him. I'm still trying to figure out how, because um, he seems like an approachable guy. I don't think he would mind it if I asked him a few things, but I got to see how I can get to him, if I can get his email or his phone number or whatever. So he can be on the show. Uh, so I can go more into details about this. Funny how he never talked about non-human intelligence. But he did talk about uh, remote viewing in different planets on this conversation. Which I found fascinating. What do you make of all this? Um, he talked about, about multiple other subjects. But mostly what he uh, discusses is human potential and how powerful humans really are and how we truly do have uh, hidden skills that are not acknowledged by any mainstream media or the mainstream scientific scientific community uh, why is that what do you think that is why is it so widely accepted and people from high up in the government or high up in academia or but why is it suppressed so much what's going on there let me guys know what you think in the comments uh i want to thank you guys for all the support if you like the content you see please like share comment subscribe uh, you can share it on any platform you want uh the more you share it the, the better for the channel uh if you want to clip it clip it i encourage you to do so if you guys want to support the channel in any other way i'm gonna leave two links for donations in the description one is paypal another one is buy me a coffee I'm going to leave another link uh, of a wish list on Amazon that I made if you guys want to support the channel in that way. And I just got accepted to an affiliate program from Latin America from a page called Mercado Libre, which is very similar to Amazon. If you guys want to help with that, you can buy yourself something on, 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 that, on those links that I'm going to leave. And that will help the channel and me. So any help is appreciated. As I strive to become more independent with this content, I'm busting my ass off for you guys and for the, uh, the topic. And meanwhile, just keep doing my day job as I am. And uh, I want to thank you guys for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Bye-bye.